you're a developer, you might be interested in a programmer's editor that we include in the FreeDOS 1.2 distribution. It's called Fed, and Fed is a foldable editor, and it can be a really powerful tool for writing programs. So let me do a quick introduction to using Fed to write programs. So let's get started. So I'm going to write a, a very simple program just to show uh, what Fed can do. So I'm going to uh, start uh, Fed by just typing Fed uh, and then a new file called uh, hello.c. Uh, you can see the user interface for Fed is uh, keeps it very simple. Uh, the uh, the menu by default is hidden. Uh, we'll we'll show that later. Uh, and uh, most of the screen is this uh, uh, black on white, and that allows me to t uh, type my programs. Uh, and I got a quick status bar at the bottom of the screen. Well, let me just go ahead and uh, put in a very simple program by way of doing a demonstration. Uh, so here's a uh, comment. Uh, and you can see already that Fed does syntax highlighting. And syntax highlighting means that based on different things in the program, uh, it can assign different colors. And this can make it really easy to spot bugs before you go to compile. Uh, I'm going to write a, uh, a very simple Hello World program. Uh, so I'll do uh, int. Um, and you can see another syntax highlighting there is a keyword for int. Uh, and then there's my main function. Uh, the arguments that I'll do is uh, int argc and a care argv. And uh, I'll need a variable to iterate through that. So I'll just do int i. Probably should use a better variable name than that, but this is a quick demo program. Uh, let me just print hello world real quick, uh, put s, uh, hello world, and uh, now let's go ahead and iterate through all of our uh, options, we'll just print them out, uh, and so I'll do a for loop uh, for uh, i equals zero, so I'll, I'll start at the actual, uh, you know, program name itself, uh, i is less than arg uh, c, and uh, i plus plus, and uh, now I'll go ahead and just do a simple printf, uh, and I'll say uh, argv, uh, and there's my uh, integer, uh, is a string. We'll just print out a string, and now I'll give it the variable i, and then the contents of argv i. So, very simple program, uh, and then down here I'll go ahead and uh, exit back using... Uh, exit zero. Oh, and I probably should have a uh, include uh, standard I/O and include standard lib. So a uh, very simple program here, uh, just to show off some of the things. So you can already see that uh, Fed does the syntax-based highlighting, as I mentioned before. Uh, if you don't like these colors, or or if you want to have more uh, colors to show off different uh, things in your program, uh, we can do that by bringing up the menu. And I'm going to do that by uh, just pressing and holding the Alt key. You can see the menu starts at the beginning of this, at the top of the screen. Uh, I'm going to do Alt C and that does the configuration. Uh, and I'm going to go down to colors and just hit return on colors. And so this allows me to change the colors for all these different things uh, in my program. Now when I write uh, programs on a DOS editor. I like to have that white background uh, on a um, on a blue uh, or white white text on a blue background. So let's go ahead and uh, you can see that the, if I move up and down, you can see the uh, cursor uh, being changed. So what I have it selected on text color. I'm going to hit return and I'll just select uh, this uh, low intensity white. And you can see already it's uh, changed the screen uh, and the text background. I like to have this blue color. Uh, for my selected text, uh, when I select text, I'll, I, I would like to uh, just invert those colors. So I'll do uh, blue text on a uh, that low intensity white. Um, now uh, folded text, uh, I, I, I we'll get into that later, but uh, let's go ahead and change this to be uh, just a uh, let's make it uh, bright yellow uh, with a uh, red background. Uh, the user interface color, that's the colors of menus and, for example, the window they're in right now. Uh, I like to use a um, uh, in, uh, inverted uh, colors here where I've got uh, uh, black uh, for my text and then the uh, low intensity white uh, for the background. Uh, language keywords. Um, I like to be able to spot those when I write programs, so I like to have, I'm going to use a, a bright white on a blue background 
and comments. Um, I like to kind of have those fade back in, into the background a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and do a, a bright blue on a regular blue background. You can see at the top of the screen, uh, back on my original comment, that kind of fades it back in a little, into the background a little bit there. Uh, strings, I do like to use red, so I'll keep that red, but I'll change the background to be blue. Uh, and then numeric constants, I, I prefer to use those as green, uh, and we'll put that with a blue background. And then uh, symbol characters, so that's, uh, as you can see, what's left on the screen, uh, you can see that's highlighted with uh, a white background, and so those are things like uh, the brackets around the includes, or uh, open parens, close parens, uh, things like that. So we're going to make those characters be, uh, I like to use uh, sort of the cyan color. Uh, on a, we'll do it a blue background. And so I'm going to go ahead and hit escape and that gets me out of that. You can see how I've now uh, uh, done my um, uh, uh, my color. So it, for me, this is a little bit more readable when I uh, write programs uh, and it's very easy to spot bugs. So as you can see, if I go down here to my printf statement and uh, if I were writing this program and I, and I uh, didn't type in this last uh, double quote, uh, and I'll just get rid of that, you can see that it highlights the rest of the line. So that would be a pretty good indicator for me that uh, I've, I've messed something up there. So uh, I, I like color highlighting because it really does help me to spot bugs before I go to compile. Uh, and uh, as you can see, the uh, uh, when I highlight text, I'm just going to hold down the shift and uh, uh, go up and down with my uh, cursor key, you can see that uh, it's this uh, blue text on a white background. And for me, that that's a very clear uh, highlight. I'm going to just move the cursor uh, down here to the beginning of the for loop, because I want to show off this folding. So I mentioned folding uh, is a big feature for Fed, uh, pretty much the defining feature for Fed. And so uh, if you want to, if you were writing a long program, and uh, I now maybe didn't need to uh, deal with what's inside this loop, uh, I could hide it. And by folding it. And so with my uh, cursor on the uh, the four uh, line, I'm going to go ahead and bring up the menu. Uh, again, uh, that's Alt, uh, and then it's under the MISC menu, so I'm going to do uh, Alt-M. Uh, and I'm just going to select Fold. It's the first thing in the menu, so hit Return on that. And you can see it's now folded uh, everything in the for loop and just sort of hidden it underneath this uh, line that's represented with the, the red uh, background. And that means that I can, uh, you know, uh, uh, before and after this, I can write more code. Um, and uh, basically, I'm able to see more of my program if I don't need to do anything inside that loop. Uh, if I want to get that back, I can just go back into that MISC menu. So I'm going to do Alt-M. And I can expand uh, everything, uh, all the folds that are made in the file. Because you can do more than one fold at a time. And so I just do that, and you can see the rest of the program is there. So this is a very powerful... Uh, programmer's editor for DOS. Uh, and I'll go ahead and, and stop there. By the way, if I wanted to uh, hold on to my configuration, uh, I could save my, uh, my config. Uh, so the next time I run uh, Fed, I'm, I, I'm actually ha keep those colors. So I probably should do that. But for now, I'll go ahead and stop there. Uh, Fed is a great program to uh, uh, make it easier on developers to write programs for free DOS. So what do you think about Fed? Uh, visit us on our website at freedos.org. Also, uh, join us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you.